Pressing on the wall, he tore the chionsum, tied his hands with a belt, and had the relationship they both wanted on the bed. He often secretly dated Wang Jiuzhi. Wang Jiuzhi's mood is very complicated. When Mrs. Yu's away, she wants to have sex with Mr. Yi. On the other hand, she eagerly wants the organization to act quickly. She wants to get rid of this kind of life. Organizational response will take some time, so she has to continue. At the gathering of the rich wives, she and Mr. Yi had a very close relationship. Mr. Yu had trusted her. He became more and more obsessed with Wang Jiuzhi and cared about Wang Jiuzhi gently. They dated more and more, and Wang Jiuzhi also realized the changes in her heart. She wanted to act quickly, but she was afraid that she might fall in love with him in the next second. On a date, Wang Jiuzhi sang a piece of music. Under the dim light, the music touched Mr. Yi's emotions. His eyes were red, and tears came. The time seemed to stop. When the two held together, they relaxed at this moment. Who ever fall in love? In the evening, on the way home to Wang Jiuzhi, Mr. Yi handed Wang Jiuzhi an envelope and asked her to give it to someone. But to keep it confidential, Wang Jiuzhi hesitated and gave it to the organization. The envelope contained only Mr. Yi's business card. The organization thought it was at the best time to act. Yumin kissed Wang Jiuzhi. Wang Jiuzhi did not refuse. She had waited for this kiss for too long before, but she thought of Mr. Yu, and her heart was in extreme pain. In order to complete the task, Wang Jiuzhi brought her business card to the location designated by Mr. Yu. It was a jewelry store. It turned out that Mr. Yu must not give Wang Jiuzhi a gem ring. The pink gemstones were set in the diamonds. They were very shining. Wang Jiuzhi brought the ring and asked, "Does it look good?" Mr. Yu said, "I don't I like jewelry, but I like you to bring it." Wang Jiuzhi looked at Mr. Yu with red eyes. Maybe at that moment she really fell in love with him. She reminded the man in a low voice, "Though." Mr. Yu immediately understood. He rushed out of the jewelry store and ran into his car. Soon afterwards, the agents took control of the jewelry store and the nearby streets. The assassination failed. And all the students were taken prisoner. In Mr. Yu's room, his secretary took the report of the investigation and came in and told him what happened. He looked at the report angrily and wanted to immediately execute the person who assassinated him. He knew that the secretary was sent by the superior to monitor him. Yes, he signed his name. The secretary put the diamond ring on the table. Mr. Yu looked at the ring very sad. In the wild, Wang Jiuzhi and her classmates were tied to the edge of a cliff. Wang Jiuzhi looked at the pills. She did not eat them. She was executed. Mr. Yu returned home and entered the room where Wang Jiuzhi used to live. He watched for a long time. Under the dark light, his eyes flickered with tears. He sat on the bed and remembered a time ago.